Cause they need solutions. It's rainy resolution. 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 In our world, there's the color racism. Where closed minds keep justice from creating peace. Where education is the key to ridding us of the cloak of racism. The time has come to take in real change, to open up the third eye, the mind, the heart, where the real beauty is inside of the outside, and where we must look within ourselves to see the truth. Well, racism here in Wixon, um, it's, right now it's, it's bad, but um, it's going to get worse in the future if we don't get rid of it now. Every time that I see racism, you know, directed towards me, I don't know, it, it just gives me a, I don't know, I feel like I just don't belong here, you know? Uh, racism is a big thing in here, because it's a small town, it's a white community, it's no place for us. Isolated. Isolated is really the thing, you know. I don't feel like I can take part in any of the activities, you know, community activities that go on, my own graduation, prom, you know, stuff like that. I feel like I'm not accepted there. We see color and we see friendship. <laughs> but you see color and you see something else. It blinds you to our freedom. But we don't care. Open your eyes and see the person, not the color. You know there's racism in Crookston. It's not always face to face. It's not. It's a lot of what's said behind people's backs and in their homes, and how they're indifferent to it. They don't really. I don't know. I think it's just causing, helping to keep it going. You know, and not stop it. If I'm walking up town with my friends, like you can, you can just tell in the cars that pass who has an, who's racist and who isn't because like some of those people they'll just look at you, like, you know. Love sees no color; only ignorance is blind to the reality of love. Um, the first time I've experienced racism was in grade school, you know, being left out. I was always a troublemaker there, you know. I was called names, you know. Nobody wanted me in their group for the fact that, you know, ill, he's Hispanic, ick, 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 look at, you know, grease ball, all this stuff like that. And basically he just left me out of the group because I was brown. But now that I'm older, I tell my parents all the time, oh, I want to move, you know, back to Chicago. And, you know, they, they're like, well, why, did, is it, why didn't it bother you earlier and now it's bothering you? I'm like, because now I'm starting to realize, you know, everything I've been through with racism and everything. And I, I, I don't know, I just don't belong here. It's rainy revolution. It's rainy revolution. It's rainy revolution. It's rainy revolution.
true challenge to eliminate racism is to have someone actually see a person and not just look at them. I've had some conflict people just you know people trying to it's like they're trying to put me in check and they because because they think it's their school even though I was the one attending it and the students like because like a Hispanic student will get a lot less attention than the and if you dress a certain way like one time, I dress differently sometimes in the dye my hair and everything. They like, they like didn't even give me an assignment. He just totally passed me by and I'm like, hello. And they do that all the time and I don't, I don't know why. It's rainy revolution. It's rainy revolution. Always reaching to be seen. Racist ways are blind to knowledge. Leaving one hand left alone. I walked into a store, you know, and me and a couple of friends, we were all Hispanic mitts. And we went, just went looking into the store, and all of a sudden they called these clerks up, and I was on uh, 20 of them surrounded us, and I don't know, but. And when you ask for your change, or when, when they're giving you your change back, you, you, you hold out the money, you hold out your hand to get the money, and they'll either slide down the table or they'll drop it into your hand, like they're afraid to touch your hand because it'll hurt them or something, or give them some disease or some shit. I mean, it's, it's just skin, and it seems like they're afraid of that. It's rainy Watchful eyes don't always see the truth, they only see what they choose to see. Those eyes are blind to our challenge. 